about a week, a week and a half ago, I find things happen, and they happen for a reason, and they come to me at the, the time that they're meant to. And as I was prepping for today, I um, was thinking about what I might like to talk about, and I was thinking about what uh, I wanted to share, and, and the message of why we're here. And I went to bed that night, and I had a dream. Now, when I was a small child, at about age, uh, well, I was in grade three, um, a guy came into my life who was somebody that I shared my, my school years with. His name was Richie Jennings. And he, you know, from three, four, five, six, seven to eight, he was always in the popular crowd. You know, he was always the popular guy. Um, everybody liked him, they all wanted to date him. And he, even though he was in the popular crowd and I wasn't, he was always nice to me. And I always remember his kindness. And when we got to grade nine, he was in a motorcycle accident and he died. And I remember how it affected me and I remember how it affected um, our community and his family and friends. And uh, he was just such a young man and his life ended very soon. And the reason why I share this with you is because I had a dream about him all these years later. And this was about a week, week and a half ago. And you know how dreams are distorted and they're kind of funky, like they don't all make sense? Well, this dream was like that. Um, I, it was dark and there was a lot of brown, but I was in a house with Richie and I was in one room and he was in another room. And I looked over through the doorway and he, put, he peeked his head around so he could see me and he looked right at me and he said something that I heard in my ears. And he said, I am not gone. I have merely stepped down from my role as Richie Jen. And I woke up immediately, and I looked at the clock, it was 3.02 a.m., and I thought, did that just happen? Was that real? Did I make that up? Where did that come from? And then I realized, I thought, you know what, Mary Beth, what's, your, what's the message here? Whether it was real, whether it was Richie, whether it was my mind, I don't care. The message is what hit me the most. I choose to think it was him. It comforts me to think that. However, what I wanted to share and why I'm sharing this with you is why we're here today. When you think about the pets that you've come here to remember, perhaps it could be comforting to you to think, you know what? They are not gone. They've merely stepped down from their role of being a pet in your life, in your family. And the gifts that we now have overflowing in our gift box is what can empower us to move on in their memory just as they would want us to do. So everybody um, knows 